Okay, what's going on guys? Kid from the camera here. Got a new helicopter. The uh, high speed cane code, whatever you call it. Uh, it's probably reversed, but you'll see. Yeah, you guys wouldn't be able to read it. Uh, no, it's foreign to you guys apparently, which is not good. I can read it, but you can't. Anyways, the helicopter is actually an upgrade from my normal uh, micro helicopters. I'll show you guys the difference. Got this guy. And then you got this. Which I think is a personally awesome upgrade. I mean, I enjoy it. The helicopter's gone for now. We don't need it. We need to upgrade. Not being babies about it. When by babies, I mean like not progressing in your upper level. Ever. Level. Whatever you say. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what I mean by the upgrade is, well, I got another hook up, show you. Uh, so, with these, with, uh, the, these are controlled with infrared, and the uh, knob is spring-loaded. And as for the new helicopter, uh, and the remote, I got, well, it's not really spring-level, but I messed with it, and I kind of ruined the, like, so that the, not the power itself, but you know what I mean. The throttle. Yes, the throttle. We should know that word. Throttle's a good, important word. Just remember. Now, we also, another new thing is that, well, it's a 200 feet range. So, it can also fly outside, indoor or out, but unfortunately, with outside, well, of course, you can't really fly a lot of wind. I actually got to fly in a 5 mile per hour wind one time. It didn't go good. Anyways, um, oh yeah. Maybe I should tell you a little bit more about the remote. This is the uh, trim, the throttle earlier, as I was speaking of. So make you go forward, backwards. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do it reverse here. It's gonna be different. Okay, let's see. Right, left, and pretty much, I like it because well, you get a new battery, and the battery actually takes an hour to charge. I think either that or 30 minutes. I don't know. Your flight time is actually, I think it's 7 to 10 minutes, I don't know exactly. But overall rating, it's actually a pretty good lifetime for this battery. I, I believe I can replace this battery at a hobby shop or store, not Hobby Lobby. Because, well, they're not into this stuff. And anyways, uh, I will plug this in for you guys so you guys can see. Ooh, let's see if I'm doing it right. Okay. Uh, there you go. This is a battery holder. It even says it there. Uh, okay, yeah, this is completely foreign to you guys. So it says battery holder, but if you guys in China or whatever from not America can you read that, you'd be awesome. Anyways, oh, I forgot to tell you, this is actually for nighttime flying. Of course, and actually right here, it's good LED light. Uh, I will show you. So this, I have flown it at night, and I personally love it. It's, I mean, for a new upgrade to me, I mean, at first I was like, I do, I love this helicopter. Let's get a bigger one. Unfortunately, I, I actually spent this. It was 85 bucks. Originally $95, but I got it for sale. It happens, you know. Anyways, enough talk. We should probably fly. I probably just bored you guys a lot. I will show you a couple of pirouettes, uh, which is another term for turns. I have learned a couple of new moves. And here, I'll show you what I mean by the uh, night lights. Those are night lights. They actually drain the battery, so I should turn that off. And anyways, other than that, you know what? Like it. I uh, will show you new, a couple of new tricks I've learned. But other than that, you know what? Enjoy. <laughs> Now, one thing I really do like about the helicopter itself is that it's actually a pretty good speedy helicopter. Uh, you used to have a friend named Bill. He, he was our church. He still does the tricks. 
shirt. Uh, we knew we were always have dog fights, and uh, but then I was trying to show you my tattoos. No, not my tattoos. I used to have one. Um, but, well, it had, it, it had like, um, uh, but it was a chinook. And one thing I realized about the chinook is that, well, it was small, okay, it was smaller than this. But it was an 8-bladed uh, helicopter. So, four on the front, four on the back. So, you can get a ton of here. Alrighty. So, pretty much, uh, me and Bill, uh, we don't have dog fights, which, have, which is something you can have. But with the look, the look, that no defenses, I thought it was pretty funny. That's how taking them down, taking them down. One thing I like about the Chinook actually is that it actually has the speed difference between the fast end or slower. Uh, but this has something you can, but it's kind of hard to tell, but overall, oh, 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 there we go. Yeah, so I thought the set was high speed, but you know what? I didn't trust it. This was a mistake, I mean. Uh, okay, we're going to try something new. Try to have the fan go on a little bit. Now, kids still not trying to sound old, okay? This is for professional television. Okay, you know, you're not trying to see this, but that's going to be a fan for you. Okay, I can already call that, right? Yeah, we must have thought we could do this, okay? Actually, my camera's going to try and get uh, a view change here. Hold on. Hold on, here. Just going to turn off the helicopter here so we can save some battery. Um, anyways, as I was saying earlier about Bill, me and him, we would have great, a blast, pretty much. Flying helicopters into each other going, Meow. I would sometimes... <laughs> I don't sometimes lose. But you know what? With every lose, you know, you can't always win. But one thing about his helicopter, that, hey, it had actual missiles that fire. But my uh, blades actually somehow managed to deflect them, which I thought was which was pretty cool. But yeah, I thought it was, <laughs> it was a pretty awesome flight. So, anyways, enough talk. I, I mean, I'm going to keep talking, but. I'm curious about that plane with that hole. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I took too long to play. I thought that was pretty dark. Uh oh. Yeah, that's gonna be a harsh landing there. Well, there was a sacrifice. Luckily, okay. Well, that was a stupid idea, but luckily, I believe I can repair it. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. You know what? That's actually pretty darn easy to repair. Hold on. Hold on. If it's just that easy to repair, hold on. Um, yeah, it's not going to be an easy repair, actually. But it's nothing that I like a few hot, a, a bit of hot glue should do. That will conclude my video.